Hello there, Chris Dale here, heavy metal bass player. Um, today I want to talk to you a little bit about um, two-handed tapping on a bass. Uh, we did a little bit in that song Rebel. Um, what you should know, the very first thing, is it's absolutely pointless and useless and nobody ever wants to hear two-handed tapping on a bass, apart from me. Um, so you will find it very hard, musicians uh, don't want to hear it in their bands. Um, and also, because it's so quiet, when you're hitting a bass like that, that's quite loud, when you tap like that, that's a bit more quiet. So um, you, you'll find it hard to be heard. Um, so you can either use some kind of crazy compression system, or I sometimes use a little distortion. I've got a rap pedal, which I'm going to use a bit later on in this video. Um, so that's the first thing to say. The second thing is there does seem to be two completely different styles of two-handed tapping on a bass. Um, I see a lot of people doing that thing where you play one melody with one hand, like... Anyway, um, yes, that can be done. It's all quite funny, I suppose. But the point is, that piece there, for example, would probably sound better on a 12-string electric guitar. Or Stu Ham's Moonlight Sonata definitely sounds better on a piano. It's funny to play it on a bass, but it's not really what it's for, is it? So that's kind of a bit unnecessary. And then the other kind of tapping that I see people do um, is that Eddie Van Halen style speed tapping. And I watched a couple of guys on YouTube earlier, and I've seen a few people as well get into this. <laughs> Um, either way, it's triplets, and they're just, um... <laughs> Golly, gosh, that's a way to lose friends in rehearsal, I can tell you that. Um, don't do it. Uh, but really, I think people need to expand past that, and that's what this video is going to be about, is trying to expand past that, and use two-handed tapping in some kind of practical form in your music. Um, even then, I'm, I'm stretching the credulity of the word practical there. So what I'm saying is we try and get out of this triplet thing. First of all, uh, the very basics, you have to be able to tap a note on. You notice there I'm putting one, one finger on top of the other, it gives it a bit more reinforcement, but I can do it with one finger or different fingers. Um, then the other thing is obviously you have to be able to hammer on and pull off. And that's going to be necessary just to get your, your first little triplets going. Um, and now to get away from those triplets, the very first thing we can do is we can alternate what we're doing with this hand. Um, because we don't have to keep hitting one note per triplet. Um, and even just um, maybe doing a double hit there. Um, I'll tell you what, that takes you straight into um, Addicted to That Rush, Mr. Big. <laughs> etc. Um, again, they could have just done that as just... and it would be really dumb. But putting the double tap in... Um, suddenly creates something that's actually a little bit of a melody. It's actually got a bit of tension in it and it sounds exciting. So there's the first thing you can do. A bit more tapping here. Also, I mean... you know, you've not... I'm getting on to my three finger thing again. I'm three finger everywhere. So, again, think more fingers here. Then, of course, when I see people doing this, I think, well, that's bizarre because you don't play bass like this all day. You've got more fingers, haven't you? So why not use them in the tapping? And this is where I think we start to come into a bit of our own. Look. And of course we've got more than one string. This tapping on one string, very annoying. Tap across the strings. starting to get somewhere because now we can actually 
um, move around the fretboard as we would do when we're playing normal two-handed uh, bass playing. Um, we never just stay on one string in one position, do we, in bass playing? We, we can move around. And now, with this, we can move around. A little bit of freedom. That's all I'm asking for. Um, which takes us into, I think the bit I did in Rebel was something like this. Um, and I think the bit in I Play Bass, the, the bit that sometimes confuses people, uh, goes like this. That's my little short introduction to two-handed tapping on a bass guitar. <laughs> There's actually more to come later, believe it or not. More silly dust. <laughs> Sorry, it makes me laugh. <laughs>